I'm Mark Weiss. Welcome to Wisdom Applied. If they overhead paged Dr. Woulda, Coulda, Shoulda at your hospital, how many physicians would answer that page? The chances are pretty good that when you were in high school, you took someone's advice about preparing for college. They probably told you that you needed to take the right courses, you needed to study hard, you needed to engage in extracurricular activities, and you needed to develop good social skills. The chances are also pretty good that when you were in college, you applied that same type of formula to preparing to get into medical school. And that once in medical school, you use the same sort of techniques to graduate well in your class and then to go on to residency. But for far too many physicians, the process all stops when they finish their residency. They consider themselves fully minted, complete. But that's a fatal error in terms of succeeding in the business of the practice of medicine. I see these issues all the time. I see the hospital-based physician who's been doing cases for 10 or 12 years and then who bemoans the fact that his group didn't make him a partner. I hear from the office practice physician who tells me that her waiting room is empty and that her referral sources have dried up. When you ask these physicians what they've done and what they're doing to prepare themselves for for a better future you often hear the answer is nothing well nothing other than if I would have done this or I should have done that or I could have well you get it you know, what's not as well known is that doctor woulda coulda shoulda has a twin brother this is doctor did it got it. Now what did it got it is always following that same course, that same preparation in grooming him or herself for their future success. If they're with a group, they're also grooming their group for the group's future success. This doesn't mean that everything that they do succeeds, but they allow themselves to in essence fail forward faster. If what they do fails, they learn a lesson from it, and they toss it aside. But if it succeeds, they keep doing it, and they improve upon it. This preparation is constant. Just like the time to prepare for college was not when you sat down to fill in your college application, the time to prepare for increasing referrals is not when the waiting room is empty. And the time to develop the necessary business strategy, group strategy, contracting strategy, and to employ tactics in respect of an exclusive contract is not a few months before the contract is supposed to start. The valuable piece here is that it's never too late to start doing it the right way, to start preparing for your success, to start grooming yourself and your group, and to never have to answer that page for Dr. Woulda, Coulda, Shoulda.